All right, my friends, hop in, sit down, strap on your seatbelt. Let's go for a speedy ride. Hang on tight, because David's driving, and he's a maniac. Yeah, there was at least one time I thought I was going to die during this road trip when we tried to pass somebody with oncoming traffic. It was a little sketchy, I'll have to say. So all kidding aside, my friends, the trip is about four hours long from Progresso where we were. And uh, we made pretty good time going there. You're gonna drive to the town of Chiquila, it's called. And then from there, you will get on a ferry, which is about a 20 minute ferry ride, maybe a little better, over to uh, the town of Holbosch. Now there is an auto bus as well that you can catch from either Merida or from the from uh, Cancun. Now I was told that people actually do day trips from Cancun to there and then they uh, just catch ferry out to Holbosch and uh, yeah, spend the day and the ferry runs every hour. So I think, I think it was like 12.30 and then again at 1.30 and then again at 2.30 and so on and so on and so on. Now they have two ferries, they have the express ferry and then another, just another ferry. I can't remember what that one was called, but uh, I'm assuming that they alternate. So one's at 12.30, one's at 12, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But I do know that they, they, for sure the express one goes every hour on the hour, so. Here we have some goats in the back of the truck, my friends. All right, my friends, a little pit stop. We're on our way to Holbosch. Potty break. And she was another scorcher out today, my friends. I think it was about 32, 33, with the real feel of 36. She was pretty darn hot anyway. We had the AC blasting all the way there. And anybody who's been following Jennifer and I, you know we've been traveling around quite a bit since we've been here in the Yucatan, going on just about a year. And we've never had any problem whatsoever driving around uh, the Yucatan and in Quintanaru, uh, none whatsoever. No car trouble, no trouble whatsoever. Roads have been pretty decent. Oh, sorry, scratch that. We did have car trouble one time when we had the Pico. We just love going through these little pueblas. It's just, uh, they're neat. A lot of these little towns are pretty cool. Lots of topes, that's for sure. Pay attention. We've hit a few of them that are unmarked. Not fun. <laughs> and you will too when you start driving here, guaranteed. Yeah, so we've drove in uh, three states already since we've been here. Been all over the Yucatan pretty much. And then uh, Quintana Roo and then into uh, Campeche as well. Now, when we've been traveling here uh, for 12 years on holidays, we've been all up and down the Mayan Riviera in Quintana Roo, so we've seen quite a bit of that area already. Into uh, Isla Mihura, you know, Cozumel. We've been all up and down that whole side. Cancun. Lido Carmen. 
Corte Morales, Acamel, and Tulum. We were in Mahuel over Christmas here. Yeah, we just love the Caribbean side of Mexico, we really do, but it's just a little too touristy for us to live over there on that side. Uh, Puerto Morales might be doable, maybe. It's not too touristy yet, but uh, it's getting there. Now, we've talked about moving to Oaxaca quite a bit here in the last little while, but uh, I had a friend who's living in Veracruz, and uh, he just came back to visit his daughters here in uh, Merida. So I got talking with him and uh, where he's living it looks quite beautiful and the weather is actually ideal over there. And the cost of living is relatively cheap. So he's an hour from the coast, so, which is no big deal because we wouldn't mind being inland for a while anyway. So, and an hour drive's not too bad to go to the beach. So. Now we're actually thinking about uh, checking out Veracruz before we go to Oaxaca. And you know, we could go to Veracruz and, and where he lives, you're only about four hours from Mexico City and then also another four hours to uh, Oaxaca. So we could drive to Oaxaca for a weekend, you know, and check it out. We could drive to Mexico City for two, three days and check it out. Not that we want to live in Mexico City by any any means whatsoever but we definitely want to go there and uh, check it out and have a holiday there and Oaxaca we would like to go and see what it's like there so now we're thinking maybe stop in Veracruz for a year on our way to uh, Oaxaca kind of halfway point type thing we're definitely going to go to Veracruz and check it out before we actually move there so we'll see how it goes yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to Yeah, when we got place. to uh, Tequila here, there was a lot of construction down by the uh, harbor So we had to turn around and go back around to go to the other side We could have parked on that side but I figured that the okay, parking would have been better on the other side, a little closer to the pier, and I was right actually. So we did a little turnaround and we went to the other side. So they had that traffic circle wall blocked off. You couldn't get through to the other side by the pier, so we did a little loop around. There was a lot of construction going on, and it had just rained must have just before we got there because the streets were uh, pretty flooded in some spots, as you've seen. Now, parking here is uh, pretty cheap where we were as well. It was 50 pesos a day for the car. So, it was really nothing to park there. Four days, we paid 200 pesos for four days for the car to park there. So, and it was in a secured area, so it was nice. So, me amigos, we got a private tour to the island here. It was uh, 220 pesos per person. Roughly about the same as what the ferry cost. We thought we would do this and then uh, get the ferry experience coming back. So that's what we did, my friends. It actually worked out beautiful. It was a nice ride. Yeah, and we had some guys approach us uh, just before this guy did. And they told us it was the same price as the ferry. And we're all like, oh yeah, sure, though, that'd be great. Same price, why not? Let's do it. And then we start walking to the guy's boat and he goes, well, actually, it's... Uh, another 500 pesos on top because I'm going to drive you around to the back side of the island where the cruise ships don't go so or where the ferries don't go we're like oh okay well forget that <laughs> we'll go with the ferry and then not but two minutes later we ran into this guy and we got this price and look how happy everybody is
David was great here. He got on the bow of the boat and uh, helped the guys dock. Even when we did our excursion, he hopped right up there and uh, helped the guys dock the boat. So he's a captain from way back when. That's it, we made it. Fun, fun boat ride. desk at this hotel it's just a lock box to get into the hotel into the grounds and then once you get inside you uh, walk through the courtyard beautiful pool area got an outdoor shower nice seating arrangements around the pool and in front of your your room and there's also a lock box at the door of your uh, hotel suite as well so it's just kind of nice kind of a quaint little place so we're at number four, which is right there. And we did have this suite up here, number two, which is the whole length of the building here and got a little balcony up front, but we gave it up because our friends didn't come and we were thinking about keeping it, but we decided not to. So there's number three, five, and David and Andy are right there, number six. That's a pretty nice place. A little seating area out here. Let's go check the inside. Well, hello there. Hello. Pretty modern. Nice AC units. Nice lighting. Nice fan. Jen's got everything hung up already. So we just took a dip in the pool. <laughs> Here's the shower area. Quite nice. Was really no hot water though. And then you got the sink, which is quite nice. Got a little storage down below. And you got a pocket door here, so this closes. That's it. So that's it, my friends. <laughs> he is ready for bed. As soon as we got here, he just right on top of the bed right away right away anyway we're gonna venture off and go grab a bite to eat catch you later